This is one of the coolest circle area problems you will ever see. In this one we have this big circle and it's got three smaller and identical circles tightly crammed into it. And the radius of each small circle is radical 3. And we need to find the area of this blue region over here. If you want to try this on your own, now is the time to pause the video, because I am starting to solve it right now. Let's first draw the straight line that joins the centers of two of the small circles. This part is the radius of the circle, so it's radical 3. And this part is also radical 3. We can do the same thing here and here. Now, we've got an equilateral triangle here, and its side is 2 times radical 3. Pretty exciting start. I'll zoom in to work on the green triangle. Let's draw the height of the triangle here. Let's name it H. The height always forms a right angle with the base, so we have this right triangle here. That means we can apply the Pythagorean theorem, which states that the sum of the squares of the shorter sides of a right triangle is equal to the square of its longer side. Now, H is one of the short sides of this right triangle, so let's take its square. The other short side is radical 3, so let's take its square too. And the longer side is 2 times radical 3. We'll take its square as well. The square of radical 3 is 3. And the square of 2 times radical 3 is 12. That means h squared is 9, and consequently h is 3. Let's keep this finding up here, and let's change this to 3. Next, my son will help find the area of this equilateral triangle. Go ahead, son. Hello, people. The area of a triangle equals base times side divided by 2. The base of this triangle is 2 times radical 3, and the height is just 3. Let's substitute those numbers in the formula. The 2's cancel out, and the area is 3 times radical 3. Thanks for the assistance, son. Let's also keep this finding over here. Now, we want to find this area. We'll call it omega, because it's a very cool Greek letter. The area of the region omega equals the area of this triangle, minus the total area of these red sectors around it. These sectors are the sectors of the three identical circles, and their angles are 60, because they are on the corners of the equilateral triangle. This is the formula for the area of a circular sector. We know the radius of the small circles is radical 3, so we can replace r squared with radical 3 squared, and it becomes 3. This angle theta is the angle of the sector, and we know it's 60, so we'll put 60 here. 60 over 360 is 1 over 6. 3 times 1 over 6 is 1 over 2. Then the area of one sector is pi over 2. I said earlier that the area omega equals the triangle's area minus the three sectors. This is the triangle's area, so let's put it here. And this is the area of one sector, so let's put that here too. The area omega turns out to be 3 times radical 3, minus pi over 2. This information is very important, so let's keep it here. Now it's time to zoom out to see the entire picture. Let's put this point O right in the middle. It's the center of the big circle. And it's also the centroid of this green equilateral triangle. A triangle's centroid is where its medians meet. And in an equilateral triangle, the height is the median. And we know the height of this triangle is 3. So let's put 3 here. Now, there's something very cool about centroids that's crucial for solving this problem. Centroids divide the medians into two parts. And the part closer to the corner always ends up being two units. While the part closer to the side of the triangle ends up being one unit. We know this median here is 3, so we can conclude that this part is 1 and this part is 2. Let's put this 2 here. And let's elongate this line to touch the point of tangency. This segment here is the radius of this small circle, which is radical 3. And this longer segment is the radius of the big circle. And it turns out to be 2 plus radical 3. Let's put that finding up here. And let's zoom out some more to see the original image. We'll call this blue region area B, because it's blue. And we've got a second area B over here, and a third one over here. And let's call this region area S, because it's the area of the small circle. And this is also area S, and this too. And we already named this tiny region in the middle area omega. And we know it equals this. Now, all of these regions added together equals the area of this entire circle. And we can put that as an equation. This area big stands for the area of the big circle. So we can express it as pi times r squared. And we know the radius for the big circle is 2 plus radical 3. So let's substitute that value here. And we get this. As for the area S, it's the area of the small circle, the radius of which is radical 3. So we can calculate this 3 times area S as 3 pi times radical 3 squared. And we get a nice and clean 9 pi. And we know this area omega equals this weird thing over here. So let's substitute it down here. 
and we can take this minus pi over 2 and subtract it from this 9 pi to get 15 pi over 2. Next, we subtract 15 pi over 2 from both sides of the equation. These guys over here cancel out, and on this side, we get minus pi over 2. Now, let's take this 3 times radical 3 to the other side, where it gets a minus sign. Next, we divide both sides by 3. This part here becomes this, and here the 3's cancel out, and on this side also the 3's cancel out. And it turns out the blue region's area is 8 times radical 3 minus 1, all in brackets, times pi over 6, minus radical 3. So that's it people, we found the area of the blue region. And now my son wants to do the outro. If you enjoyed the video, make sure you push the like button and subscribe to our channel for future videos. Have a good day and see you soon.